Hey you guys, it's Crystal from the Abundantly Blessed Homestead where we use the wisdom of our ancestors to make amazing, nourishing, delicious meals for our family and grow some of our own food. This was a requested video. I did a poll about two weeks ago and today we're going to talk about a basic medicinal herbal cabinet that I have. I have brought out some of the items and they're right behind me on the counter. We're going to go over each one um, in a little bit of detail. So I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Um, I just want to let you know that we do do a live cooking class every Tuesday night at 5.15 p.m. Central Standard Time, where I teach you to make an amazing, nourishing, delicious meal that is kid approved, um, and it's amazingly nourishing for your family. So if you're interested in that, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. That's all the announcements I have. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get to the stuff behind me here. The first thing I do want to say, and I'm going to link it down below, is I, my very, very first video. If you scroll all the way through all of my hundred and some videos, all the way down at the bottom is my very first video. It is how to make your own um, herbal tinctures um, for much cheaper than buying them. So I'm going to show you all of my homemade stuff. And if you don't want to get into making things, um, you can go ahead and buy them at a supply store near you. Um, but if you want to save some money and you're willing to do a few extra steps, it's actually a really easy process. Um, it, you can go back and watch that video. I will leave the link down below, okay? So, first off our tinctures, for me anyway. And I've got a lot of bottles here. So we are going to start, um, we're gonna start with herbs. I'm gonna get into a little bit with homeopathy because um, you can buy those online. Those are really affordable as well. Um, I've got a couple of supplements I also use for basic illness. Um, and so let's just get started, okay? So one of the first things, a lot of people know what this is, okay, it's echinacea. Um, this is just a reused bottle. Um, in that video, my very first video, you guys, all the way down at the bottom, I'm gonna link it down below, I talk about where to buy bottles and droppers, where to get everything, where to buy my favorite herbal books on what herbs to use for what, and how to make certain salves and all sorts of stuff. So that video is an hour long and is jam packed full of information on how to make your own tinctures and where to get supplies to make them all, okay? So the first one is Echinacea. A lot of people know what this is. It's an immune booster, okay? Um, and so this is a must have. And the next one is also an immune booster. It's called Astragalus Root. Um, some people prefer Astragalus Root over Echinacea. Um, astragalus root is, um, it works in the same way as echinacea, but some people's bodies prefer it over echinacea. Um, and this is also a combination. It has rose hips in it as well. That's kind of the fun thing about making your own tincture is you can do mixtures of different herbs. And so you're basically taking two tinctures, but just one is all in one. So, uh, astragalus root and rose hips. Okay. And the rose hips is a, um, plant-based vitamin C. The next um, tincture is one of my favorites as a mom. Um, this one is called Mullen. I also um, made this one. I've made all of these. <laughs> but um, basically, Mullen is for cough. It's like the herbal form of Mucinex. So you, anybody who knows what Mucinex is, it just helps to get the mucus out of your lungs. Um, that is Mullen. Another thing I talk about in that video, that's my very first video, I'll link it down below, is about where to buy herbs, okay? So it's all covered in there. So Molin is a definite. And then, this is my other favorite as a, as a parent, is Lobilia. Lobilia helps to open the air, the, air, the bronchial tubes. Um, it's really, really great for coughs that you get at the end of a cold that are um, short and hard coughs. It's not a very productive cough. It feels like you have... Um, tightening in the chest, like you can't breathe. It's also really good for a, an allergy type response um, as far as the lungs are concerned. So that is Lobilia. Um, this is a must if you have kids. <laughs> this is something that I bought. Um, this is by Dr. Christopher's. It is called Kitty Track Emotional Clarity. This is amazing for teething. This is amazing for a child that is emotionally crazy and is just really tired and they need to, to calm down. It just basically like settles the child. It has um, some herbs in it for pain. So it's, it's just a really good thing to have on hand, okay? So that is Dr. Christopher's Kitty Track Emotional Clarity. And I know Amazon has this, so. 
Okay, the next ingredient, I'm going to be kind of vague here, you guys, is called wormwood. Wormwood is um, an antiparasitic, but it can be used um, like ivermectin. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want my video flagged, okay? So I made this by myself. I have wormwood that grows wild around here, and I made my own tincture. So wormwood. It's great for a yearly detox as well. Um, okay, so that's all the tinctures. Okay, so the next one is um, silver, liquid uh, colloidal silver. This is really important because you can use it for eye infections, ear infections. Um, you can use it for uh, illness orally. Uh, you can drop it on your skin to treat things on your skin. It's just kind of a must-have in a cabinet, okay? Well, let's see. The next thing is... Activated charcoal, guys. If you don't have this, go to your local Walgreens and get yourself a bottle. Walmart even sells this, you guys. This is a absolute necessity for anything related to the stomach. Puking, diarrhea, any of that sort of stuff. Uh, activated charcoal is your best friend. Any sort of toxin or poison, activated charcoal is your best friend. It comes in a capsule. Um, I've given it to children by opening up a capsule, mixing it with a min bare minimum of applesauce. goes down just fine. Um, let's see. Uh, this is homeopathy. I'm going to go ahead and cover this really quick. Um, I will put a link down below where you can buy these. They're not very expensive. I think they're like $7 a bottle. This is called Virostat. You can also get it from any of your local naturopaths. They sell it as well, but obviously it's much cheaper to buy it online. This is Virostat. Virostat helps your body to detox viruses. So when you first start feeling like you're coming on sick, um, you can start these drops and it basically teaches your body how to detox it instead of exhibiting worse Cold symptoms, okay? Virostat, and then also they make a batch of stat. Um, they make all sorts of different versions of stats that cover different detoxes, okay? So those are really important to have on hand. Um, I just wanted to cover this really quick as well. If you're into making your own medicines, really important would be a capsule machine. Um, you can look, look this up anywhere. Just pay attention to what size the capsule machine is over here um, as far as buying capsules. Because usually at the same place that you can buy a capsule machine, you can buy capsules, okay? Um, and I cover some of those locations on the other video. Um, I know like Vitamin Shop has this stuff, you guys. Uh, Mountain Rose Herbs has this stuff. Okay, and then this is more of, really quick, uh, more of um, like almost a daily thing that we take anyway, but especially when you're sick, so your deal. And this is by no means a complete list of supplements to have on hand. So, Perfect Desiccated Liver, it's by um, Perfect Supplements. This is really a great company to order from. These are liver capsules. Liver is really high on absolutely everything, basically, but your B vitamins, and it also is sort of like a multivitamin, okay? But liver is also very, very helpful for illnesses that involve your lungs, okay? But it's pretty much good for any illness. <laughs> We also take cod liver oil. I did not grab that. I've talked about that in other videos. Green pastures, fermented cod liver oil. Um, it's the perfect amount of vitamin A and D, which you also need to fight illness. So that's another thing to have on hand. And then I have two sources of magnesium. My kids prefer this one more. Um, it's calm, and I know a lot of people have heard about it, but make sure you get the plus calcium because in order to utilize and balance out magnesium, you need to be consuming enough calcium. So this is a raspberry lemon flavor. This company does also sell just magnesium. Like I said, you're going to want to make sure you're getting the calcium along with it if, you don't, if you're unsure of your consumption of enough calcium. And this one I just actually got today. And this is ionic magnesium. Um, I'm taking it because of my teeth. You need a lot of magnesium and calcium to build um, up your, your bones and your teeth. So um, I bought this one at radiantlifecatalog.com. Radiant Life Catalog also sells liver capsules. I think they're about $21 a bottle. So they're a little bit cheaper than perfectsupplements.com. Um, and if you're ordering anyway, added magnesium. So anyway, that is my basic herbal cabinet, you guys, um, with a little bit of extras. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments below. I'll leave whatever links I can for you. And please go check out that um, complete herbal video. I will link it down below. It's very important. It has lots of information in it to get you guys started on making your own cabinet for much cheaper than buying stuff. All right, we're under 10 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.